Welcome back to Underwater Math. I'm Sammy, and we are going to classify two-dimensional shapes based on angles. Where do angles even come from? Imagine you are facing the front of the room, and do a jump spin all the way around so you are facing the front of the room again. Congratulations, you have rotated 360 degrees, or you have made a circle. Circles have 360 degrees. If you cut a circle in half, it is 180 degrees. If you cut it in half again, you have a 90-degree angle, which is formed by the two perpendicular lines. There are four 90-degree angles in a circle. Often, we see angles outside of circles. Here are two right angles, both formed by perpendicular lines. Acute angles are less than 90 degrees. Like an 80-degree angle, 50-degree angle, 30-degree angle, or 10-degree angle. They are such cute little angles. Obtuse angles are greater than 90 degrees. Like a 100-degree angle, 115-degree angle, 140-degree angle, 160-degree angle, or 170-degree angle. Shapes such as acute triangles, trapezoids, and a rhombus have acute angles. Shapes like squares, rectangles, and right triangles have a right angle. Obtuse triangles have an obtuse angle, as do trapezoids and a rhombus. You will notice the trapezoid and rhombus have both acute and obtuse angles. Let's see if we can classify shapes based on angles. Hey Alicia. I'm thinking of an object that has at least two obtuse angles. Do you know which one it is? Hi Sammy, let me look. The triangle only has one obtuse angle, and the square has four right angles. It must be the hexagon. That's right, try this one. I'm thinking of a shape that has at least two acute angles. I know the square only has right angles, so we can eliminate that shape. The obtuse triangle has one obtuse angle and two acute angles, so that shape works. The trapezoid has two acute angles as well. You must be thinking of the obtuse triangle and the trapezoid. Right again. Let's try one more. How would you classify this group of shapes? Hmm. They all have right angles, but the triangle only has one right angle. I would say these are polygons with at least one right angle. Right again. Thank you for playing. Have fun practicing. 